talking about the uh, New World Order. Um, in a radio interview, uh, author Lindsay Williams talks with uh, uh, Jim French in 1991, and according to him, uh, the Brandt Commission, uh, also called the Fifth Socialist International, adopted the term the New World Order. And here is what he has to say about it, uh, and what exactly they mean by the New World Order. French, quote, so what is their definition, end quote. Williams, quote, I will read it. A supranational authority to regulate world commerce and industry. An international organization that would control the production and consumption of oil. An international currency that would replace the dollar. A world development fund that would make funds available to free and communist nations alike an international police force to enforce the edicts of the New World Order. And that was published in the Mikulvaney Intelligence Advisor. And that is from Black Helicopters Over America, Strike Force for the New World Order by Jim Keith in Illuminate Press book. Uh, hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. I'm going to make this very swift and sweet, or not so sweet. First, I'm sure a lot of you have seen in the news that uh, the European Union is gathering together uh, almost one trillion dollars in more bailouts. Now this is in response to the crisis going on in Greece and uh, the possible ramifications for the Euro and uh, trying to bring some quote-unquote stability to the markets. Now, uh, my own assertion on this particular topic is that all bailouts should cease immediately. What we're doing, what all of these people are doing, is just reaffirming the fact that the bankers, the banks, have a throttle hold on the necks of all of the countries and all of the people of the world. And what do they have this by? What is the leverage by which they do this? It is all on speculation. All of this to cover fucking paper transactions. This has got to stop. This has to be the benchmark. This has to be the fucking Waterloo for all of this. Are we going to say that everything that we have, everything that we have a right to, all the social programs that everybody is entitled to within the countries that they reside, including Greece, have to pay the price we have to give up? our livelihood, our lives, for the paying of fucking worthless paper? And now another trillion dollars in the European Union to give for free to fucking banks. And you don't even have banks lending money to people or businesses for that matter in the creation of jobs or for helping people who are losing their homes in foreclosure. But by God, they can certainly give money away for free to banks. Let's make it the fucking Waterloo right now. Let's say debt moratorium, complete and utter. We will not support any more paying to fucking banks for worthless Fucking paper transactions that have nothing behind them. And everything that's going on in Greece has been planned. It is like vultures feasting upon a corpse. It is all rampant speculation with nothing behind it. It's all worthless paper garbage. And I wish Greece would tell the European Union to stuff your fucking international monetary fund and your fucking money. We're not paying a fucking dime. And if it comes to any of you, wherever you live, I hope you do the same. No more money for banks, period. Nothing, not a fucking cent. All paper canceled. Worthless, will not be paid, will not be honored. All CDOs, all derivatives, every single one of these things, canceled and nullified right now. 
That's the Waterloo in the economic arena. What's the Waterloo otherwise? Well, there has been some talk about this tremendous eruption of oil in the Gulf of Mexico, but I fail to see the level of outrage that there should be over such a massive calamity which has the potential to affect so many people, industries, and the economy itself. Whereas George Bush rightfully, rightfully was grilled and hammered over the ineffective and ridiculous response to Hurricane Katrina, which was horrible and destructive, but thankfully only hit a relatively small area. What's going on in the Gulf of Mexico has massive potential, and yet I hear nothing, especially from the so-called fucking left. The suck-up assholes who fucking love their Messiah Obama who are not even calling upon him in even the most timid ways to try to do something about this massive fucking problem blooming in our midst. So much for the difference between left and right. And so much for people who have the environmental agenda and think Obama is your champion. <laughs> More of the fucking same. Why is there no hue and cry that Obama get off his fucking ass and do something? Well, we can't have that because he's quote unquote one of us supposedly leftist environmentalist bullshit crap. <laughs> Kowtowing to BP and corporate interests just like his predecessor and every other president for at least the last hundred years. Perhaps some people will wake up eventually. I certainly hope so. Before it's too late. Thank you. Good day.